they threaten me with gun and they're going to shoot me. They beat the hell out of me without doing anything, without taking, without stealing anything. Say what you want to say to me now. I want to wake up with you. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth Foisi and I'm super glad to have you here. Please consider subscribing if you are new and turn on your post notifications so you won't miss any video here. And if you are an old subscribers, thank you so much for coming back. I really appreciate you. So this video is a story time of how I was arrested here in Sadra. I know by now you guys must have known that I lived in Sadra River. Like I've lived in Sadra River for like three years. I came here in 2017 and we are in 2020 already so it's been i'll be three years in less than a month now i'll be three years so that video about how i got here what happened what went down what am i doing here this, so those things i i regretted doing here or what i don't find very comfortable with i'll put the clip i'll put the link to that video in the i card up here i'll put there for you to see but this video i'll be sharing with you guys i was arrested here in sadra arabia yes i was arrested if you watch my first time tag i told you i was arrested in sadra arabia like my first arrest that was 2019 so i just want to tell you the story behind this because i think you need to know it i didn't steal anything but then shall let's go cool. so i was working on that if you if you come to sadra arabia you either work in two ways one as a contract and two is outside contract if you are at a contract you are meant to work with one single madam for the period of year you sign for either two years four years six years is that it's an even year two four six eight ten twelve depends on the contract you sign with that's contract made but if you are not working under contract you are um, you can work with anybody you can work with you can work with this madam this month and next month you'll be like no i don't like the vibe i don't like working here and move to the other madam to another madam elsewhere it's your choice like you have the like the only difference between them is that you can change madam but the contract house you can't change madam so as for me i'm working outside contract meaning i can change madam any point of time july 2020 that was when i know this woman and it's a year today guys that incident is a year today that's why i think i need to make this video it's a year today i'm actually filming this video august 28 2020 like that incident is a year like this time last year i was it wasn't me so yeah let me just tell you what happened and how it's what went wrong so i met this madam july 2019 i started working with her in july 21 2019 so uh, it was someone that got me this job i don't want to mention her name because i don't know if youtube recommend this channel for her for her to see i just don't want i just don't i just don't it's nothing if i disclose her name but i just want to disclose it because um, i don't think it's necessary but this lady she usually get work for people and has she gotten work for me before i don't think so this that was my first time and the last time she ever gets work for me because i don't want any trouble for my life again so she got this job for me and i got to the house when i got there it was a single mother though she told me she's not a single mother that she has a husband and the husband usually come at the end of the month or after two two weeks that was what she told me so i started working with her the first day i got to that house, and she has a child a son i think he's eight years old or nine years old i've forgotten but he's a boy a child a grown-up one not a baby so she told me the husband would be come at the end of the month or after two two weeks so when i got their house guys i can't i can't even sleep with that house i can't sleep in that house i'm not making mouth but i can't there's no way you sleep in that house and you won't have malaria or any disease because it was so dead come and see their sitting room come and see their kitchen their bedroom it was disgusting I don't have the video I did when I just got to the house. I will have to display that picture for you to see how dirty, how it was just crazy. So it was, I got to the house 10 p.m. because you can start working at any time here in Sadra. But since you'll be staying with them for a month or two months, depends on your decision or depends on how they treated you. So you can. So I went there 10 p.m. in the midnight at night, 10 p.m. at night, and that day that was when i started working and she was even telling because she understand english although the son doesn't understand english that much 
he speaks more of Arabic a lot than the mother. But the mother, she understands English very well. Like she's very fluent when it comes to English. So she was telling me, oh, I'm sorry. Um, my house is dirty. I wasn't around. We just moved here. I was like, you just moved here and the house is dirty like this. If you just moved here, I think it should be neat. Not like it. No. But yeah, to cut the long story short, I started working and everything is fine. Not like fine like that. But yeah, you know, everything is fine. Like this woman will be treating me like a sister. She'll be like, oh, you're my younger sister. Blah, 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 blah. She's because I have a very small stature. So they always think I'm their sister. She gave me some clothes, some used clothes, and I don't even want to collect that clothes because they're bigger than me. I just feel like, okay, if I get home, I will see someone that that is really the same size with the lady, and I will give the person. I don't, I don't want to collect because I can't even wear it. I can't even wear them. They're bigger than me. So she gave me like, like two to three to four clothes, and I just put them in my in a poly bag, and I just put it somewhere, and I started working with her. And when I started having problem in that house is that the woman can leave the house for like three days and will not come back. I understand maybe the nature of your work is like that, okay? But if you are not around, let your phone number be available. Like the son is someone that is, that boy is just crazy sometimes. He has this thing, he's much known sometimes. Sometimes be like, call my mom, call my mom because he doesn't have a SIM. The mom doesn't buy him a SIM. So it will like call my mom and then I'll be calling the mother. The number will not be available, like it will not even go at all. So one of the guy was just like, call my mom, call my mom. I'll be like, your mom number is not going, and then you will start crying. And I hate it when you know when someone is crying for no reason, just be shouting, 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 making some noise. And when I got to the house, the son has three phones: one iPhone, one Samsung, and one Huawei. Three phones, guys, three phones. He has it. But before I left that place, he spoils those three phones. Like, he loves playing game, and whenever he loses, we just smash the phone on the ground. Who does that? Please, who does that? Are you crazy? Why would you do that? He spoils the first phone, the second, and not the, th the third. But when he spoils the third, the mother is not around, and usual, she can go for like a week, and we won't have anything to eat. You know, if you are going to somewhere and you buy food stuff for us, we won't have any problem with you. That's the nature of your work. We'll understand. But buy something for us to eat. I can't be taking care of that boy, cleaning the house, and I won't eat. It's your responsibility to provide food for me while working in your house. There won't be food. So when this guy broke the third phone, he doesn't have any phone to use. And he'll be like, I should give him my own phone. The phone I'm using. I'll be like, no, my phone is not a game. It's not something you can use to play game. I use this for business. I use it for my Instagram. I use it for my YouTube. So I can't give you my phone. I can't. But when I was going, I checked my bag. I realized I brought my old phone, my my old phone that I was using. That was Samsung. So I gave it to him. And I and I told him this phone. I I want to take it to Nigeria to my bro. I want to send it to my brother in Nigeria. So don't spoil it. If you spoil this phone, I will kill you. Like. I told him that I, this phone, I, I didn't say I'm, I would kill him, but then I told I would beat him if he tried to spoil this phone. So he said, okay, no problem. And in less than 12 hours, he broke the phone and I collected it from him. And then he started calling the mother, blah, 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 blah. We shall have issue. Then the mother has to give, has to give him her own phone during the time she's around. When it's August 17th, I try to manage myself because it's not easy, guys. It is not easy when you have problem with the son you are staying with and the mother that can caution him is not around. I shall manage to stay with the house for till 17. On 17, I text her because she's not around as usual. I text her on WhatsApp that madam, I only have four days left to go home for my off. You know, I started working with them July 21, 2019. So I said, it's rain four days for me to go and normally that's how we do if, if your off day is near you have to inform them so that they will be preparing your salary so i just test out that madam my off is in four days please um i need to go home i just like okay no problem 21 this woman did not come home we didn't even see her 22 when she came i already packed my bag those clothes that she gave me when i when I first got there, I put them in my bag, everything I put there. I already collected my phone from that guy because he broke it, so I can't give you again. So I put everything in my bag so that, uh, madam, I, I'm ready to just give me my money. I will come back in next two days because normally you work for a month, that's 30 days, and then your half day is in two days. 
then you come back if you still want to work with them but if you don't want to work with them you just delete their number and block them that's all but so so i told that madam i'm ready to go and she was like oh please i'm sorry saudi they haven't paid our salary they pay us on 25 so please just wait a little bit like that she told me and honestly i'm so i'm considerate i i don't you will give me since i trust you that you will give me i always believe in all this madam anything they tell me i believe them so when she told me that i should wait 25 i was like okay no problem four days i know two days i will you pay me and i have to go and then 23 she's nowhere to be found 24 she's nowhere to be found 25 she's nowhere to be found 26 she didn't even come and call 27 nothing no 27 she came and it was late i think she came back around 10 or 11 like we are almost in 28 27 in the midnight she came i was like madam i'm like i was literally standing at the door like this because she used to lock the door like ever since i got to their house i didn't even see outside because if she's going to somewhere she'll lock the door and take the key with her if she's at home she will lock the door and take the key with her to the room like we are always in door, no outside no peeping of outside or we want to do anything no we are always inside the house. 27 at night when she came back, I was standing at the door. Madam, please, I'm ready to go. I need to pay our strengths. I need to sort bills. I have families I need to send money to. I need to take care of myself. I've been inside your house for a month without even stepping outside. Like, I need to go. I have to lie because normally all this madam used to lie sometimes. That I lie to this woman that I have a daughter. That please, I need to go home. Blah, blah, blah. I shot and I said, okay, she's coming. She needs to go and withdraw the money. Blah, blah, blah. And she even have to borrow my phone to call some people, not knowing to me that this man is calling police on me. For what? What did I do? These people came, but before these people came, she took her son to somewhere, I don't know, but the son left the house, and then these people came, they were just banging the door. She was inside. After she took the son and then came back and then said that she wait, that those people are bringing money. She called some people that they are bringing the money that she wait. I was like mumu waiting patiently for this woman. And these people started batching the door. I was like, madam, some people are knocking on the door. Come and open this because the key is with you. And when she opened this, baram, police. Hey! Like, when they first enter, I was like, my, my heart was like, boom. Because I was like, what's going on? And these people are those people that are going to pay me my money. And when they enter, for the first 30 minutes, my boss was just roaming about. Because she didn't have anything on me. I didn't steal anything. I didn't take your money. Where will I even see money? You that you're not even at home. Where will I see money to steal? She was literally roaming about. She didn't have anything to do. And during this period that she didn't come home, I stopped working. Because what's the point of me working and you're not giving me money? Some used plates were in the kitchen. Clothes, I didn't even bother to touch them because I was just waiting. What's the point? If you are not paying me money, what's the point of me working with you again? Um, collapse, work has finished. I'm not working again. So she was roaming about, she didn't have anything on me, and then she go, she went to the kitchen and saw so there is this noodles that this guy, this the son ate. He has a little, it remains just a little noodles. And the way you used to use this noodles is that you will add cheese to it. I know when you add cheese to something that has been there for like two days, what do you expect? So this woman has to bring that used plate and told me I just gave, I just gave the son that food that night. That I gave the son spoiled food. Guys. And I was trying to tell this police that no, it's a lie. Oh, that this priest has been there for like two days. Oh, they just laughed me. Guys, these people beat the hell out of me just because I work with you for a month to pay me my money. The money I worked for. Like I was only trying to explain to them that no, this is not. These people beat me. They threaten me with gun and they're going to shoot me. They beat the hell out of me without doing anything, without taking, without stealing anything. They searched my bag and she saw those clothes that she gave me. She told them I stole it. I, I was trying to tell this people that even if I want to steal clothes, will I steal oversized clothes? Will I still use clothes? It's a kind of thing I don't like remembering because it's just, it's just so bad. 
it's really bad like why would you treat a fellow woman be like that if you don't have any money to pay me you should have just explain to me that i don't have money to pay you i'm not like i didn't work in your house i worked for a whole month and seven good days i don't want to be emotional guys so i'm sorry guys i <laughs> it's just odd honestly it's it's really painful so when these people stop they beat me for sometimes and they stop and and they were like and she was like i stole her money that i stole ten thousand riyadh i was like really i was i'll take your money and i'll be waiting for how much you want to pay me like she she wants to pay me one thousand eight hundred riyadh and i'll see ten thousand i'll still be waiting in your house they check my bag they didn't find anything just those clothes that she gave me and she left she was about to be she said they should take me to the police station and send me back to nigeria blah 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 and those people were asking after beating me they were like why did you um where is your resident permit and i didn't take my resident permit to work i actually have but i didn't take it to work like where is your resident permit i don't have and they were like no we are sending you back to, we are taking you to the police custody and we send you back to your country i said okay no problem so when the lady left when the madam left um this man was like and this policeman that was beating me was telling me i should calm down that i should um that i'm not the first maid neither am i the second maid that they come and carry in this house like that's how they do i was like seriously and uh, yes i forget to tell you guys that's point no do so i hate it they forced me to eat it i hate it i hate small no no this has been there for like two days Come and see my guts. I was forced to eat it and I have to eat it because they threatened me with gun that they're going to shoot me. So the police was telling me that I'm not the first, neither am I the second maid that they come and pick in the house. That's just be patient with them. She was she already left and she then came back and I was like, Where is my phone? I was like, Madam, this is my phone. The police that was telling me that I'm not the first maid that they come and pick slapped me again. I didn't even know where I dropped that phone. She took my phone. I have a small camera. I used to record my YouTube video then. They collected from me. My Samsung phone that I gave the son that she he broke. They collected from me. And I have this small phone, like a small Nokia phone that I put my Nigerian SIM to transfer money to my parents. They took it from me. And this time was August 28th, around 1 to around 12 a.m. to 1 a.m. It was in the midnight. So she left with my phone saying they should bring me to the police station and she was telling me that I should calm down, I should be calm, blah blah blah, did I have any money with me? I said I don't have any money with me. I said she said you should take me to the police station, please just take me there. If I get to the police station and they didn't find anything on me, I will shall collect my phone back and I will and I'll collect my phone back and if it's if it's meant they should need to send me back to Nigeria, no problem. They should send me back home. Because I don't think if I did anything wrong for you. I don't think I did any wrong to you. Like, okay, no problem. I'm like, she calm down. After the ma after the madam left, they took me to their car and they drove me to somewhere I don't even know. The glass was tinted because I don't even know what is going on around me. They took me to somewhere very far and they dumped me at 3 a.m. in the midnight. I don't even know the place. There was bush everywhere. They dumped me there. They dumped me there. They threw 50 riyadh to me. I mean, that's five thousand era to me and they left midnight to crawl to the to the bush and had myself because if anybody should pass by and saw me they may rape me or kill me and when it's around 7 a.m in the morning it's already getting brighter i i saw one i went to the street again to this street again and then i i saw a taxi and i was i told the person my location and they were like what are you doing here from that place to this place, what are you doing here? And I said, please just take me home. I have to get home. Even the 50 riyadh is not even enough to pay the transport fare. I have to borrow money to pay the transport fare. So working here in Saudi Arabia, if anybody should tell you that it's easy, please just tell them it is not. Or if they, if they are trying to force you to Saudi Arabia that, oh, there is green pasture there. There is no green pasture anyway. That place that you're making, 20,000 or 30,000 or even 40,000 in a month is better. 
it's better for you. That your country that at least you are getting 20,000 naira in a month is okay. At least you have a peace of mind. I know this madam, either you are watching my videos or you know that you are treating maids. Nora, your name is Nora. That you are treating maids badly. God will judge you. God is watching you. God is watching. Remember you have a daughter. I remember you have a son. Kaba may not come to you today, but will definitely come to you one day. That's one thing I'm sure of. Kama may not come to you today, but very soon, one day, you will reap what you sow. Because you can't treat a fellow woman be like a goat or like they don't even exist. And you think your own life will be better forever. No, it won't. I'm not cursing you, but that's the fact. The way you treat others is the way they will treat you in the future. Kama will come to you. Honestly, it will come to you. And if you think you can come to the comment section and insult me, please just pray this thing happens to you. That's where you will know what's up. Pray it happens to you or someone very close to you or even your own daughter. That's when you will know what's up. So before you drop any hate comment, please think twice. Think twice. Because I'm a woman. Blood runs in my vein. I'm not a robot. I'm a human being. Just imagine this happening to you. You were beating for your money. I didn't get my money. They collect three phones from me and drop me into the bush. So before you drop any comment, just think twice. Please. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you want this video to this point, I love you. I love you. And I want you to reply me that if you watch this video to this end. And I'll see you in my next video.